So I started with T-ball, and then when we moved to Florida, I started getting involved in the rec leagues, and then I started to become better, and um, they asked me to be on a travel team, so then that's when it started really being competitive and really being something to look forward to to try to get a scholarship for college. I decided to come to The Ohio State University mainly because um, my family is here and I just fell in love with the, the tradition and the excellence of the school and the family behind it. So I was diagnosed with ITP which is uh, autoimmune bleeding disorder and I was diagnosed two and a half years ago and um, have been through a lot of different medications and treatments and some of them have worked well, some of them haven't really worked at all. Um, so usually it's kind of like a week to week um, thing, so it depend, depending on what my blood draw is depends on what type of treatment I need, if I need an infusion. Um, so usually it's a day-to-day -day thing and trying to balance, you know, just knowing where my numbers are and trying to get through a practice and knowing when they're too low to where I can't practice and just being smart and on top of everything. She is a natural fighter, I think, just getting to know her over the last two years. She wants to go and go and go and go. and. With the balancing in her doctor's visits and figuring out what's going on with her disease, she's been able to fight a lot more than she normally has when she first showed up in Columbus last year. So when um, I first came here, it was a little bit of a struggle for me trying to handle my disease because, you know, I'm 18 years I was 18 years old at the time, and it's kind of a big step to handle health problems on top of academics and athletics. But when I came here. It was all about health comes first and my coaches made that known to me and my teammates were always there for support. So just knowing that I had people behind me that didn't necessarily know exactly what my disease was but just knowing that they were behind me every step of the way and supporting me through everything. I think as a student athlete when you're surrounded by someone on your team that is limited the way she is and it's not something she can change or fix, you know, it's part of who she is, um, it elevates her people around her to another level. The excuses become less, the pushing becomes more, um, and I think it's a natural thing to be elevated by that as a teammate. And coaching-wise, it's fun to watch someone push and then figure it out and then push and figure it out and constantly work forward. She doesn't go backwards. Even when she has to be limited, she's not a backwards-thinking kind of kid. And it pushes me as a, as a coach, I think, to continue to find ways to push her because she wants that every single day. So being a scholar athlete is has always been one of my goals just to, you know, academics comes first and it's hard when, you know, you try to time manage school and softball, but on top of that having, you know, hospital visits and hospital time. So I think the thing that has helped me really be successful is my family and the support, knowing that they're always behind me and they're always there to listen and to help and definitely my teammates too. I would say what it means to be a Buckeye is having the opportunity to experience the tradition and the excellence and knowing that you have those that, that Buckeye family behind you. I think just coming here, it's just kind of like a feeling and you just know that you have support and you have that sense of family and community.